There's a bit of a story here. Jordan is going to read a poem that he wrote in grade nine. And what you need to understand about this poem that Jordan wrote is that he wrote it after being shocked by how early in the year Christmas oranges went on sale. <laughs> So the Christmas oranges go on sale. Jordan is outraged. <laughs> writes a poem about that. But then assembles the poem into a one poem poetry anthology and adds an author's note to the end. We're going to hear all of it reading his poem Oranges, please welcome Jordan to our stage. Uh, one more note, the anthology as a whole is called Impatience. I think that's supposed to be Impatience, but I, I guess I was too impatient to proofread it. <clears throat> I went to the store today and found a box of Christmas oranges in September. <laughs> Far too early, for the meaning itself was tossed aside. I buy one? What is this? This vile, limp, putrid, sour, but tasteless thing. This is no Christmas orange. This thing rushed out to meet demand. This mandarin orange. <laughs> Force fed, no care, pride gone. Why? For the money, the almighty, all devouring dollar. This lie in exchange for all care. This is not what happy memories are made of. <laughs> In disgust, I throw it at the wall, and it remains solid as a rock. <laughs> Try hard, but all are like this now. It's called progress. <laughs> but who needs a good product, right? <laughs> but that's not the point of this orange. Not for money. Sigh. I can't exactly grow them myself. And so my money goes into the pockets of the thieves of my childhood. <laughs> um, and here's the author's note. Um, in this poem, the speaker is me as this is based, bast, sorry, bast, on an actual event that happened last week. The occasion is that I am disgusted by the horrible quality of my early Christmas orange. I used many literary devices in this poem. For example, simile, and it remains solid as a rock. Symbol, the disgusting orange, is a symbol for the disadvantages of mass production. <laughs> Some support for this is that the orange is of less quality than ones that aren't corporate. <laughs> and the fact that it doesn't do what it is supposed to do, which is a common cliche of mass-produced products. Personification, the almighty, all-devouring dollar. The, the dollar is being seen as all-devouring. <laughs> I also use some very strong words, <laughs> such as devouring, as in, as in that this thing engulfs all things and that everything else is powerless to stop it and thieves, when used in this context, uh, to me mean that these people took something very important to me and that the thieves are obviously only interested in money. 
My poem relates to the imp- <laughs> to the Im- impatience of man by relaying a story of an object that is only supposed to be available <laughs> at a certain time of the year, coming out earlier and earlier every year. My message is that people need to learn to be patient, and that if they wait, the end result will be worth waiting for. There's another author's note. Uh, This is more of an emotional author's note. Imagine that you are at the dawn of man. People still hunt and forage for basic necessities, and someone insists that the people move fruit bushes to them, and that's how progress starts. With the advent of money, people decide to forsake quality for quantity in order to make more money. And things started breaking more often, and people didn't notice as they weren't apt to make things themselves. But people are always impassioned, and they always want things faster and cheaper, regardless of quality. Thank you. (laughs) 